Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Mackay and today I'm going to be talking through a Revlog film, the third Revlog film from the Wonderbox, but the first one that has been designed especially for winter. Whether you are new to film photography or a long time analog enthusiast, our channel covers all things film, from tips and tricks, film reviews to how to videos. Subscribe now and keep those notifications turned on so that you never miss a beat. Happy shooting! We've talked about Revlog a few times because we've featured before Nebula, we've featured Streak in the Wonder Box before, but today we are going to be talking about snow vlogs. And as I said in the introduction, this film is designed especially for winter. What does that mean? Well, if you put the very subtle clue of its name, Snow Vlogs, in, you might have an idea. This is black and white. Most Revlog films are colour, so it's black and white, and the effect that it gives you is it gives you the lovely effect of snow falling in your photo. Now, I was very careful then not to say snow falling in front of your photo because what the effect looks like, and you'll see this in the sample shots that cycle through, is tiny, soft white blobs, but varying in size. So you don't just have sort of uniform, flat snowflake effect sort of that, that comes over your, your image. What you will get is you get this gorgeous depth where it looks like there's some snowflakes falling right in front of your camera, some falling in the background, interacting with your subject, and it looks just absolutely gorgeous, wonderfully festive, Christmassy, seasonal, wintry, however you'd like to describe it, but it's a beautiful, beautiful effect. And doing it with black and white I think is super smart because those photos immediately make you just sort of feel a little bit festive and cosy. The underlying emulsion is also a really good one. So you will see it has pretty tight grain, good contrast. As always with creative effect films, if you shoot in bright light, if you shoot slightly overexposed, the effect will be diminished because obviously if you shoot at something that's mostly white, white snowflakes won't really show up. So you're looking for areas for photos, for portraits, for situations that have a bit of natural contrast in them so that the snowflakes come through and also you can then appreciate the beautiful blacks of the core underlying emulsion. Now, there's a few hints and tips from folks who shot this last year. It is limited edition, so it comes out once a year around this time of year and we were very lucky to bag enough volume to put in the Wonder Box for you. Hints and tips from folks in the past. If you shoot it in snow, light snow, you will obviously get a stronger snow effect. If you choose to shoot it without snow and add on snow into the scene, then there are some ways you can do it that, that, that provide even better impact than before. So one person in particular talked about the fact that if you're going to add snow into an outdoor scene, it's better to wait until after it's rained or you can see a little bit of mist because what they saw is that if it's an obviously dry scene with snow falling down, that can look a bit strange. But even if there's no snow on the ground, if there's a bit of rain, if there's a bit of natural water or mist around, then it can look absolutely beautiful and atmospheric. And again, similar tips as folks say that make sure that you're shooting in reasonable contrast, make sure that you have some dark shadows in your photo so that you can really see the snowflakes pop. But otherwise, enjoy it. Now the effect varies frame to frame, so some frames will have larger dots, some frames will have smaller dots, so even across the roll, it won't be entirely predictable what each photo will look like. But ISO 200, 36 exposures, that gives you enough flexibility and enough choice and 36 frames for you to experiment, try loads of things out, and I sincerely hope, I fully expect, that a few of the photos that you take on this film will be absolute keepers and a wonderful memento of this Christmas in particular. So there we go. Revelog Snow Rocks, a wonderful film, a wonderful limited edition film from our friends over in Austria. I hope you have a load of fun. If you've shot it before, let us know what you thought about it. If you haven't shot it before, let us know what you think you will do, what you think you will try, how you will bring out the effect and whether you're gonna be doing outdoor, wintry, snuggled up with hats and coach shots, or whether you're gonna be going full on creative, like studio lighting, indoor posed portraits. Um, I think that would look really, really cool. Whatever you're gonna plan, please let us know, especially if you're a Wonderbox subscriber. Otherwise, I'll see you again next week.